if we don't wire the mesh on the bottom, as you guys know, we did lose him for two weeks. It was crazy. You like to say hi to the camera? Mm -hmm. Say hello. Say hello. Mm -hmm. Say hello. Come here, Fluff. The old man. Very, very old man. is going on youtube welcome back to another video here at blake's exotic and amaranth today you guys it is the new year and i'm happy to say that this year is going to be absolutely insane we're starting this new year with a freaking banger and we're making this aviary look even better than it did yesterday <laughs> because we are remulching this whole entire thing to make it look brand new for the first day of the new year. We already have people working here at the ranch as well. We're welding one of the fences up so that the chickens stop jumping over and destroying our gardens because that is an absolute annoying thing to have for the new year. So the new year is here today and I hope you guys had a happy new year. Uh, make sure all your wishes and all your things came true and make them come true. It's a new year and you guys to do whatever you guys want to do. If you have a dream, if you have an idea, whatever you want to do, make it happen. Look at me. I made a freaking 100 foot by 40 foot by 30 foot tall aviary in my backyard. Absolutely insane. But today, as you guys clicked the video, we are going to be redoing Fluffy's cage because Fluffy definitely needs a brand new cleanup enclosure set up for the new year. It needs to get done. And as you guys know, we are literally counting down days until the pond guys get here to do Oliver's and Callie's brand new pond build, which is going to be really, really cool. So make sure you guys keep those post notifications on, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for some of the crazy things to come here for 2022. So let's follow along, let's remulch the rest of this bad boy. We bought one pallet of mulch, so that is 75 bags of mulch going into this aviary, which is a lot to do. But it gotta get done and it has to look nice for you, for me, and for the animals overall. So, enough talking, enough drabbling around, and uh, look at uh, uh, Pinky and Poncho. What's up, you guys? You like to say hi to the camera? Mm -hmm. Say hello. Say hello. Mm -hmm. Say hello. Say hi. That is Poncho, he is the most curious one. And then Pinky is right there. They are some funny little birds, which are really, really, really cool. Uh, amazing ambassadors here on the ranch. But enough talking, and like I said, let's get it going. And like that, it is done with all the bags of mulch that I have available here for this enclosure. It looks pretty good. You can see all the new patches of a uh, new mulch all around. It looks great. It looks amazing. But as you can see, we still need some more in certain spots of the enclosure, all in that back section and a couple parts around here. So to be honest, I would probably need to be safe to end, well, to begin this year with a completed mulched enclosure i would say i need another half pallet of mulch check out all the ducks they're all over here walking around Let's see what's going on around here look at them all they're all just walking around looking at the new mulch putting the beaks in it all look at them all just chilling trumpeters are there hanging out all the ducks are just hanging out the tarocos are inside of the gumbo limbo tree over here as well look right there but bam everyone is just absolutely loving their enclosure they're using that little trail that i told you guys they would use there's no rock there so they go up they walk around and they just slide right down into the pond where they would like so now we are done with mulching this enclosure hello mister and we are going to go and do fluffy's cage so Let's get it going. So as you guys saw earlier, we just got this whole entire fence completely welded. So now there's perfect bars. Uh, these are brand new two bars. These are two brand new bars, two more bars so that there wasn't any way for the chickens to jump over because that was my situation here. They kept on jumping over and destroying all of my rock and mulch gardens. Obviously this area looks like crap. So what we're gonna do is we have all this mulch here. So we're gonna throw it down 
all inside of here for Big G's enclosure, so it looks great. Uh, obviously, it hasn't been mulched for a little while, but if we would have mulched it, it just would have had holes everywhere from the chickens. Even though it was only two or three chickens, but two or three chickens could really mess up a garden. So, all that mulch is going to go inside of there, and half of that mulch is going to go to Fluffy's cage over there. So, let's go check out Fluffy's cage and see what we have in store to uh, what we got to do. Uh, the two cranes right here. It's the male and the female hanging out. So here we go. We're going this way. Let's go check out and see what we have in store. So this thing is definitely needs a little bit of help. It looks like a crap zone. Uh, we got to pick up the plates. That's something simple. That's easy. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go in there, get some we uh, tree clipper thingies, cut all the weeds back, get all the branches out of there, take all the bark off, well, all the branches out, rake it one great time and then remulch the whole entire bottom uh so yeah and then we have some other trash we had to pick up and around if you guys didn't know if you have goats and you would like to have a nice tree you're gonna have to get a bunch of pallets and make a barrier around the whole entire thing if you don't do that you're gonna have no tree trunk you're not gonna have a tree and you're not gonna have shade for your goats because sometimes the goats are not the smartest things and they will eat their shade away so that is why we need to put the pallets around and it kind of looks ugly but it's the only way to save a tree my girl Catalina, we did introduce her to benny a little while ago and i am definitely now starting to see a little bit of a sag so i think she might actually have uh, a baby foal in there i don't think she's anytime soon i'm thinking probably another three or four months but i definitely do think she is pregnant so i might have the vet come out soon and do a blood work to see if she's pregnant put it down in the comments should i go get a blood test to see if gatalina is pregnant yes or no uh let me know if you guys think i should do that all right gatalina girl she's an awesome donkey she's a good 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 donkey all right girl We got ourselves a soft rake and we are going to go inside and rake the whole entire closure out. Uh, these goats are literally a month probably away before kidding and there is going to be so many little kids here on the ranch. It's going to be really, really dope. We already took out all of his logs that are inside of there and all of the plates that were in there as well. There was a little more than there should have been in there, I'll tell you that much. Um, the branches, I'd like to have a crap ton of branches in there because as you guys know, these guys are ground dwelling animals. They really don't climb too, too much. Um, so the, on the floor of a forest, there's gonna be a lot of trees, a lot of rocks, leaves and all that stuff. So leaves is not a problem. We got that black bamboo right there and uh, it drops a ton of leaves. But um, yeah, it's just a pretty much twice a year thing. I like to go inside here, do a deep cleaning and just get everything out, take everything out, and then just give them some new fresh mulch. So uh, let's do it. So we got all the substrate out of here. Uh, we brought it all the way down to the wire mesh onto the bottom. If we don't wire the mesh on the bottom, as you guys know, we did lose him for two weeks. It was crazy when he used to live inside of the chicken coop over there, he dug out. Uh, he didn't dig for over a year and a half, but then when breeding season out here with skunks happened, oh my goodness, it was a interesting time. But he is contained now, and there's no way for him to get out of this enclosure. Uh, he lives his life. He is a pretty, pretty nocturnal, and he's an old, old man. He's underneath there right now hiding. But that guy only comes out at night and does his thing. Right now he's sleeping. He doesn't want to <coughs> deal with anything that I'm doing here as of right now and like that we have the mulch all down we got the logs and branches all back into place we're going to grab him some new fresh hay for his house even though he likes to hide underneath more because of the fact of of the cooler dirt but it is a pallet with a rubber mat that has holes so it should be cooler but if there's a chilly night and he would like to go inside his house he can and stay a little bit warmer uh, these guys are a North American animal, so the cold here in Florida is nothing for them at all. And if they live outside year-round, they don't know the difference of AC or not AC. So they're used to the year 
around temperatures here in Florida. And on top of that, he's underneath the bamboo tree, so it's always a little bit cooler. But if you want it to warm up, he could come out and go into the sun and get some someone he wants to during the midday without a situation. So we got Fluffy some food, and you guys can see the sun is halfway, more than halfway down, and Fluffy is out or ready to go. We got all different types of food in there for him, and we left one bag of mulch out, and as you guys can see, this crane destroys everything. Holes and all kinds of craziness in there. But Fluffy, the old man, is out. He is still alive that everybody was wondering if he was or not. I am pretty surprised that he is still kicking, not gonna lie. This dude is a very, very old, a skunk i was told when i was given to him he was around 12 to 15 years old already and he has been living here on the ranch now for three years so he's 12 13 14 he could be 15 or 15 16 17 18 or he could be 18 so it's a gamble about what his age is but he is definitely doing very very well here because where he was living before he was living on a metal uh top and not a uh come here fluff the old man very very old man got the stay there he's an old dude got some pinky dread there he has all sorts of different types of things that he eat some kibble and all the things uh, -uh. got the got the got the got the yo this is not a donkey house come on all right we got my good girl got the lena back out she knows i'm saying her name put your ears back but this guy is munching right here so what we're gonna do is we still need to get him a water bowl so I'm going to just leave this, I would say, right here. Actually, let me get a little closer. Hopefully, it doesn't destroy my phone. But we'll see what happens. Let's put it right there. There we go. I'm going to leave you guys right there for a few minutes. You guys watch him do his thing while I go get him some fresh water. back with some nice clean water for him we'll keep this just about right in the middle so that it doesn't get all filled up substrate while he is walking back and forth exploring his enclosure but he will actually eat all of that food by the night i mean he might eat a leave a couple vegetables and stuff but um i'll definitely tell you he'll eat it all he absolutely loves his food his nails are real real long but he just doesn't like his nails to be cut so i like to feed him on a concrete spot probably add a couple more concrete bricks on the spot that he goes back and forth waiting for me to open the door but other than that my dirty wannabe white fluffy is uh doing good ah! see that he is a psycho little dude he does not like to be touched. he just likes to be left alone um he will really mess you up as you guys can see but um that's fluffy for you fluffy is still alive he is still kicking if he does pass away or something of that sort i definitely would let you guys know i wouldn't let an animal pass away without mentioning something or putting something on my instagram if you guys haven't followed me on instagram yet make sure you guys do that right now blake's exotic animal ranch and one last thing check the website you guys we are going to be shipping out everybody's purchases this week because it is the new year and I just didn't want to ship out anybody's tortoises or turtles um, throughout all the holidays and everything. It's the new year now. Everything should be kind of back to normal with the shipping of 
this crazy holiday season but uh yeah check out the website you guys we have tons of turtles and tortoises available plus the merch and all that cool stuff put the post notifications on you guys hit the bell do what you got to do to tell all your friends about the ranch because as you guys know we have some very very big things getting completed here this month 2022 with the banger uh, happy new year once more and uh appreciate all the support it means a lot to me it's able for me to do what i do here on the ranch and uh i will see you guys all later peace out everybody and uh happy new year